Facing the hard economic times of 2010, I was, like everyone else in America, struggling. Without a job and barely making enough money to get by, I soon began doing odd jobs for people. Until one day, I found refuge in a countryside Amish mob in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. There I helped harvest crops and building homes, all while receiving benefits. I grew close to the mob and would help them as they paid me. I did things I'm not proud of. So as guilt built inside me, I tried leaving. I felt it was time. I figured the best way to do so was to slowly convert. Until one day, it got me into a close encounter with the biggest crime lord of the whole Amish mob. The Hogfather, so to speak. protection money. Three months! Why haven't you paid me, Caleb? I'm getting the money, alright? It's tough times, alright? I'm, I'm working Tough on... times! It's rough times! You don't tell me about rough times! Let's talk about tough times, Caleb. What do you got over here, Caleb? We got canned food, but chicken broth? Did you make the chicken broth? No. Did you buy this in a store? Or, or, or did you make it yourself and can it? You know how hard it is to air seal anything? Do you? No, Do you no. know what work goes into that? No, did I. Okay, well, let's see here. Um, oh, these mason jars here, but these don't look very familiar. Who would you pay for these, me? No. These look like Mennonite mason jars, Caleb. That ain't right. That ain't right. What'd you got over here? Oh, oh, sliced bread. Did you make it? No, I didn't. Did you cut it yourself? No. Oh, then you must have bought it in the store, didn't you? Oh, well, how lovely is that? Hmm. Look, a medicine cabinet. You got your little nasal spray and your ibuprofen, whatever, you got a little tummy ache or a headache, huh? You think that's it? Can you afford a doctor, kid? I can't. I can't afford a doctor. Look at me. I can't afford my own medicine. What is this you got here, huh? What is that? Is that, is that running water, Caleb? Huh? Is that running water, huh? Is that what that is? Is that what that is? Huh? You think I have that? No, I don't have that. I don't have that luxury. What about this, huh? You got your fancy little washing machine, don't ya? You just pop your clothes in there and turn a dial, huh? Is that, is that easy? What is this? Is this pre-made soap? Huh? Do you have to make this? Do you know how hard it is to do that? Huh? No, of course you don't. And you got your dryer or whatever you want, your nice, soft clothes, warm and toasty, huh? Is that it? Now how hard it is to do that, kid? What about this? I don't even know what this is. But I guarantee you, you don't need it. You have luxuries that I don't even dream of. You call those hard times? I seem to recall maybe last year it was we had a horrible ice storm and your power was out for weeks at a time. Wasn't it? You had to do everything by the candlelight and by the moonlight and by the sunlight. It was horrible, wasn't it? You had to get your water from a spring down the street, Caleb. In the freezing cold. I know you know how hard that is and I have to do it every day. But you don't care, do you? That's hard times for you, isn't it? You're a baby! That's Tuesday for me, Caleb. That's Tuesday. I'll ignore that one. About the Mennonites for a second, Caleb. Let's talk about them. I know for a fact that you've been going to them for help. 
I know it. But I haven't been talking to them. Even if I was, how would you know that? I've got my ways, Caleb. Don't you doubt that. If Hal's really so important to you, check this out. Elizabeth! Alright, now that was good. I'm not gonna lie, that was good. You get props for that. But you've gotta believe me, Jedediah. Come on, I've been putting forth everything for this money for you. I've done everything I possibly can to put everything else aside. Just look at what the clothes I'm wearing. Look at this. I am worn and torn. Look at this. My shirt's got a sleeve that's torn. My socks, they don't even match. Everyone's got a hole in it. I've been, I'll get the money to you. I've just got a little more time. A little more time. Sit back down, Caleb. Maybe I could be talking a little bit nicer to you. I'll give you a choice. Either you pay me, or you have to deal with Tamper Sands out there. Okay. Yeah, we can go upstairs and we'll try and figure something out. It's a pig style you got up here, kid. This place is a mess. Yeah, I know. It's up to me to be living in the barn. Of course, I think the barn's more organized than us. <laughs> Coke I gave you a while ago. You still got any of that left? Um. You used this all? Well, believe me, it was well spent. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. If you don't have anything of value to me by tomorrow morning, I'm getting Ezekiel and Big John down here and they're gonna take care of the problem for me. Understood? Yeah. Alright. Pistol. It's a nice laptop you got there. Well, what do you want with a laptop? You can pawn it. Wait, it no, like no, don't. Be that bad. Time to have a word with Tapper Sam. <laughs>